we will now calculate the LU decomposition of this 4x4 matrix. This matrix is special. Its rows are the same as its columns. A matrix like that is said to be symmetric. And because this matrix is symmetric, there is a very nice surprise waiting for us at the end of the exercise. Now, the efficient way to calculate the LU decomposition is to perform Gaussian elimination on this matrix and to all along record the inverse steps of Gaussian elimination in reverse order. So we'll do that right here. And we'll use the identity matrix as our starting template. And we'll perform the Gaussian elimination right here. Okay, let's begin. The first step of Gaussian elimination is to subtract two of row one from row two. So let's record the inverse of that step right here. And now carry out the operation. Two becomes zero, five becomes one, two becomes negative two, and five becomes one. Let's move on to the second step, which is to subtract two of row one from row three. So let's record that step, the inverse of that step. And now we can perform the operation, which will turn the two into zero, this two into negative two, this nine into five, and this one into a negative three. And we're done with the next step of Gauss elimination. Let's move on to the third step, which is to subtract two of row one from row four. Once again, let's record the inverse of that step. And I could have done this in three different matrices, one to the right of the other. But then if we had combined those matrices, we would have still ended up with this matrix. So I'm saving space and time, and I invite you to make sure that what I just said is indeed true. So now let's perform that step of Gauss elimination, which puts a zero here, a one here, a negative three here, and three here. And we're done with the first step of Gauss elimination steps. Let's move on to the next set of steps. Again, start with the identity as our template. And now let's proceed. The next step is to add two of row two to row three. And because we're adding, the inverse step is to subtract. Okay, now we can carry out this step. Zero, one, negative one. All right, let's move on to the next step. And that is to subtract row two from row four. And because we said subtract, we're going to record the inverse step which is to add. And now we can go ahead and perform that step. Zero, negative one, two. And we're done with the second set of Gauss elimination steps. Let's move on to the last set, which will consist of a single step. And that is to add row three to row four. And because I said add, I will subtract here. And now, we're ready for the result. Zero, one, and we're done. And this is the matrix U. U is what's left of A when we're done with Gauss elimination. Now to obtain the matrix L, we have to combine these three matrices, which is easy to do because all of these matrices are elementary. So LU is very much an exercise in elementary matrices. Of course, we will ask the software to do this work for us. But on an exam, you will have to multiply out these matrices. And the result is this matrix. And this is our matrix L. And that's our surprise. The nice surprise here is that the matrix L is very closely related to the matrix U. It is its transpose. If you convert the columns of L into rows, you will get the matrix U. Now, this is no coincidence. Something like this always happens for a symmetric matrix. We will talk more about this in the later part of the course when we're talking about inner products. For now, let's record the final answer that A equals L U. And just to make sure that we did everything correctly, Let's multiply these two matrices and make sure that indeed the product equals A. And indeed it does. 
All right, and we're done with this LU example.